Hi, welcome to this Arch Labs engine. We have just written the complete desktop theming combustion and it was an open box. And one of the things that is fun in Arch Labs is we can just switch from open box to i3 without putting in a new uh, SSD or hard disk drive or separate partitions. No, it's on there. It's the same ISO and we, that's a big advantage. We do not have to switch any SSDs. We can just go ahead, log off. Then at the top right, you say, gonna take i3 for a few hours, try to figure it out because it's a bit of a learning curve you have to go through. And what I had in mind was, hey, wouldn't it be nice if I could do this similar kind of thing in i3. Can I make a combustion teaming as well there? Well, I've, I've done already everything, so you'll see the end result and then I'll back up and I'll do it again for you guys. So this is the look we had on complete desktop um, teaming combustion open box. As you can see, uh, the, the fun stuff having Arch Labs and i3, so open box and i3 on the same ISO is, they do remember the settings. So I went to i3 and I have already an arc theme that's selected here. I already have icons that are selected. So the black arc theme, the icons, Rufi, still there, just pressing a button, sorry, this one, Super 11 or Super F12. It's the same setting. So um, then I entered into the system and it wasn't this wallpaper. It was this wallpaper I had. Another kind of wallpaper. Come on. Okay, this one. Um, I said, okay, how can I fix that? Well, since the application variety runs in here, you see here, the only thing I had to do was sell previous. I give me the previous wallpaper and if I get the previous wallpaper it will be this one and all I have to do now is old arrow up and now it's frozen it will keep this wallpaper if by any chance you told variety to switch every five minutes or every ten minutes well then it's frozen or you can do the same with nitrogen of course eh? where are the menus here is nitrogen alt f3 nitrogen maybe wallpapers let's have a look then we get variety you can do alt f2 you can do super f11 and super f12 so menu is enough go get them so then i changed the conkey how did i change the conkey there's no right mouse click open box and so on you have to know where it is it's in i3 in the dot config i3 it's called system overview you double click it it's in here i already changed everything look at the nice blue color ah, blue red color there you go and now i've gonna open the system overview because it's not yet open i think okay it is open it was here in the back open so it's tapped now the system the config i3 is a tap possibility there is a possibility to show things beside each other or to tab it so control find I say something about tab uh, oh, and you can go find 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 and so on and here it is pin sim super s is tapped uh, stacking tapped and e so z s z e is what you should remember s is this one z and e so normally it's on e so it's not tapped but side by side that's actually a tiling manager more look of a tiling manager but you can do whatever you want it's in there the shortcuts so not gonna need this for the moment but we can keep it and can move this one to another workspace that's also possible I can delete this one or I can move this one I want to move the right one so I press super shift 5 for instance I've moved it to workspace 5 and I've so I have 10 screens like that. That's actually what's happening. I have 10 screens. All right, so what did we do? The only thing we did was change this color to a more um, a white color. So if you have a look, oh, sorry, it's, it's a runner program. So super 
and then f1, f2, f3, f4, and so on are programs. So don't want to do that. I just wanted to show that this gray look is now a white look, which is much nicer. There will be, there will be people telling uh, conkeys are not for i3. Huh? It's just a choice and it's there, of course, to help you. And you see there are a lot of help in here. All the conkeys of the shortcut keys are in here. So if you're stuck, you can always come and look here. And um, the Super X being the most important one, get out of it. <laughs> so anyway, we have changed that as well. The color has been changed. The wallpaper one previous. You remembered the themes, you remembered the icon themes. And then we went on an investigation. We have here the program Atom installed. And Atom, you can install lots of things in Atoms and you can install packages, install packages. And what packages do I recommend to do this at least? That's Pigments and Minimap. That's the two that, will, that I'll be using here. Pigments and Minimap. What happens when we open the config and we, this is the minimap to the right, and you move down, you see this big block. Visually, it's a big block, so that's the end. Then you're too far, then you go back up. And this is what, I've, what I did, I changed the colors one by one, I investigated and said, ah, that's the background, ah, that's the status line, ah, that's that. And then I changed the colors, so for instance the background, Let's have a quick look. So how do you, or do I propose you go ahead, save the color, reload it, and if nothing happens, then it's, they did something wrong. But it is red. Clearly, it's red. So that's what they call the background. Okay, fine. No, don't like it black. I uh, red, I like it black. So reload it, and that's better much better and everything ele every element like the separator is gonna be this little line here I would thought it would be nice to have a little touch of orange in there so I've made it orange aha Eric how did you know that this orange was was that orange that's a good question and I'm wondering actually if I can do it here as well let's see if I can there is no no, no color picker. I don't think we have it available here. Let's see if I have something else. But because I did install some stuff, toggle in, pigment, uh -huh. convert. Uh -huh. No, don't think so. So what uh, did I do earlier on? I figured out what theme this is, what color of yellow this is, and how do we figure that out? The program that's where you change your appearance is called Alex appearance. It's called Arctic Cow Dark. No, that's the theme. That's what we're looking at. All the black thing. Look here. What we need to know is the icon theme. And that's what we are looking. What kind of yellow is that? So we need to go to the Sardi Mono Papyrus Colora Casablanca. Remember the name. Okay. In my case, it's in dot icons because I dumped the 120 no, wait, 103 color variations are in here and the Saturday icons are in here. Yeah, here are the core icons in the dot, in the user share icons and in the dot icons I just dumped everything from the 003. I want the Casablanca. So that's this one. Don't need this anymore. And I opened one of them, just one of them is enough. Now, when you double click, you can actually open it with Inkscape, but you can also open it with Sublime Text or Genie. It's whatever you want, but it's a drawing which you can open. Take a look at this nice red one. This nice red one means, hey guy, something is waiting for you there. So, okay, when you go there to the number three, then I have opened it already twice, so once is enough. And now we click on this element and nothing happens here well there's a trick to it control click and then you see a color this is the hexadecimal color i need control c going back to my configuration file and i now i copy pasted it in here 
they get this, but that's wrong because FF is going to be a transparency, no need for that here, and hashtag is not present. And now again, it's orange. And the things that I like to be orange, like this one, the focused workspace, this is the focused workspace, we're working on three, working on five, working on three, working on two. So the focused workspace needs to be orange with a white text, a bit, no, sorry, a black text. And the other ones are so gray background with a whitish uh, text. And when it's important, urgent, then it's going to be a, a red background. And here as well, uh, there is going to be a red background. I could change already. And so I have the same and I'll make, uh, make this one as well later on. But for now, we're concentrating here. So these elements, that's the bar. That's what we're talking about. It's we are in the bar. How high is the bar? Uh, buttons or no buttons? Uh, the font and all the options. You, what bar do you want? I3 blocks or conky and so on. And then we got uh, actually the colors of the bar. So we're working in this part and only in this part that defines this line under here. I think I told you everything all the steps I took to figure out and know how and then, like I said just change do one thing just do one thing and change the colors and see what happens that's the best way to go like I think within the for the trials I also tried white and I said okay what happens if I do right and I do think the contrast between orange and white is a little bit low so control Z I decided to go all black and that's much better don't you think so now we have this kind of look if anything is focused it's gonna be um, orange uh, sorry yeah, orange in background and black in foreground and that's how we have done this exercise this is atom um, pigment is the thing that colors everything and um, well enjoy using i3 enjoy figuring out how everything works it takes some time uh, to figure everything out but at the end it's so much fun all right enjoy <laughs>